What's good you guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Today we will be doing an unboxing of the Fellow product which is their serving craft, their double walled craft. I don't even, I actually don't even know what it's called. Um, I was just actually looking for a craft because over the past three weeks I've gone through like three of these, like just cracked. It's pretty horrible. There it is. I must say though it's a little pricey um, it's on the pricier end, but then again, I actually have not used a fellow product that has not lived up to the price point that it's sold at. It's usually a pretty good exchange. So without further ado, do without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open this box. All right, all right. So we got some, uh, uh, some, some textured, I don't know, cardboard paper, some more paper, some stuffing. And actually before we get there, I just bought my second uh, fellow Monte Cortado cup. Woo. I actually think I like the black one more than the white one. All right, this is what we're actually here for folks. Extremely well taped the box. I must say I'm giving I'm giving fellow like a strong like a hard 15 Maybe out of like 10 like look at this Extra like just like an absurd amount of tape everywhere. But hey Whatever keeps you know, whatever keeps the uh, the double walled The double walled glass craft safe. I'm not mad. They actually did a pretty good job with shipping. I didn't have to wait an arm and a, um, an arm and a leg forever for this thing to get to my house. Dang, inside of a fellow box is the glass carafe fellow box. This is sick. It's called the stag double walled glass carafe. Look at that thing. I don't know if it's focusing on there. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. There's a freaking goldfish in the graph. I have no idea what that has to do with coffee at all. I, I just don't, but I'm like, I'm sold. I'm like, yeah, let's go. That looks cute. It's cute. I'm down. I'm not mad at all. All right, the moment I've been waiting for. So hopefully I don't break this one as well. All right. Got this little collar on there. I love it. You guys are keeping my fellow product safe before you even get to me. I really, I really appreciate that. I'm down. Ooh. Look at this. This double walled, nice cute little rubber ceiling on there. Not sure if I like this texture. I kind of like the, I wish they put like the classic, the stag, the fellow stag, the kettle top which is like a hard plastic one but I guess I guess this will do I'm not mad all right got some instructions inside probably don't need that um, look at that it's got the one dot the two dots on top just to make sure you know how much there is the fellow branding at the bottom man this thing is massive literally in the photos like i'm like is it really that big that you, it takes like a whole hand to pour like this is like this is like a good group this is like this feels like a vase like a flower vase like i think that's probably the most shocking thing other than that like classic beautiful fellow aesthetic um the top is a little bigger than i was expecting i was actually very afraid that the AeroPress uh, that I make occasionally wouldn't fit on top. It kind of looks smaller in photos, but actually it's a good size up on the top. So um, that also being said, I think we should make some, some coffee, make a cup of joe. So um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm pretty amped and what better way to dial in, to break this in than brewing the last very bit of some brandy wine La Palma Geisha Natural. Like, please go ahead and name me a better coffee to dial this in with. I'm listening. Woo! 
man Whew. this is actually so like the aromas are just absolutely nuts on this coffee so i'm super excited look at that steamy brewing my aeropress at about uh 200 203 degrees fahrenheit you can barely see over this brewer but we're gonna make this happen it's actually the last bit of this gaze and gaze I'm telling you the aromas on this is just they're just nuts like 115 all right all right doing about a 25 to 30 second plunge all right that hissing noise has been activated throw this on the the trash craft Use that as a placeholder. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. And there it is. There's my uh, AeroPress Concentrate and the uh, Felstag Craft. I'm gonna put that thing right in there. Do a little bit of a dilution. That was some tasty ASMR. The thing with the AeroPress is when you're plunging into a carafe, I always feel like I'm about to break the carafe itself, which does not feel very good. I, I, I want to be confident when I'm plunging and not thinking about the carafe and wondering, am I going to actually break this? So um, that that was not the case with this fellow. This fellow felt extremely durable, extremely strong. Um, I'm actually very pleased with it. It's a little big. Um, like I said, it's much more bigger and bulkier than I thought it was, but you know, it works. Can you drink out of this? Straight out of the vessel, let's see. Yep, it's drinkable. It's got a nice lip at the, at, at the end that makes it really soft on your lips. Okay. That brewing, that pouring experience was, um, Pretty good, pretty good. I was expecting some a little bit more feel texture in my hands. I don't even know how to explain it, but um, it was nice, soft, easy to pour. I like it, can't complain. I do not regret purchasing this, so um, if you can spend a little extra, go ahead. I would, I would recommend it, I would suggest it. I'll probably throw a link in the bottom in the description to Fellow's page with this product. Um, yeah, do you have any questions? Are you wondering something? Are you wondering how this feels? Or or do you, any questions that you can think of? Maybe you're wondering how many coffee beans you can fit in here. I don't know, you know, but that's what the comment section below is for, is for you to ask me some questions and I'm gonna try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, folks, go grab your brewer, go grab your vessel, and go make yourself a tasty cup of coffee. We'll see you guys in the next one.